project was called Plumbing California. It was really a chance to go look at the ground zero of water eye to eye, where the water is such a key element to literally terraforming a desert into farmland and taking the desert and turning it into one of the biggest cities in the world, Los Angeles. How did California do it? How did they, you know, make this happen? I realized that I had to somehow get up. I needed to get up to show what's happening to that landscape. I needed that well-defined middle ground to begin to tell that story. I used helicopters, I used fixed planes, drove 4,000 miles with a bucket lift you know, all across California, which gave me about a 50-foot elevation. Through a combination of all those things, I felt I was able to begin to show the kind of critical areas where things have gone wrong. So this is the Owens Lake, where the water was diverted for Los Angeles, leaving the lake to dry up, creating one of the most toxic lake beds and the sandstorms in America. Selenium, some arsenic, all these things, nasties, heavy metals, pesticides are in that lake bed. To be a photographer, you actually have to also become a witness to the thing that you're photographing. And to bear witness allows one to say, I think these things are happening in the world, that I saw it with my own eyes, so to speak. That excites me to be part of this big conversation that's going on right now about our species and its relationship to this planet.